Hi everyone. I want to thank you and welcome you to the information session for Girl Friday. And this is about the medical billing and coding. So Girl Friday has had their doors open since 2011. We are based in Atlanta, Georgia, and we have an A plus rating on the Better Business Bureau. We've never had a complaint against us yet. So here's a brief overview about us that we are a business solutions company. We grow organizations virtually. And what that means is that we don't have people go into other companies brick and mortars. What we actually do is we grow their companies and we help them by providing services from our own homes. Normally any time of the day, but we'll go a little bit more into that. We have over 30 opportunities that are available at any given time. And we're talking about different opportunities. We also have medical billing and coding. We have call center. We have healthcare recruiting, just to name a couple of them. And we strictly do from home. We, since we opened up our doors in 2011, so we're talking 11, almost 12 years now that we have focused on people being able to work from home. This is way before the pandemic. We have focused on people being able to work at home, keeping families together. If you have disabilities or you need to um, take care of a loved one or you're just unable to get out the house or just because you prefer to work from home, um, that is something that we give you the ability to do and have been doing that since we opened up our doors in 2011. So let's go ahead and then move into the medical billing and coding and then what we offer. So our medical billing and coding specialist does daily claims entries, electronic claim submissions, dedicated follow-ups, claim corrections and resubmissions, government commercials and private billing. We send out daily, weekly, monthly customized reports. We do patient statements. We do soft collections up to three um, past due notices. It's not something that we actually call people for, but we send out notices for those. Payment postings and adjustments, denial management, um, managing collections, patient inquiries, and AR recoveries. So the rate that we go ahead and then we pay our medical billers and coders is a percentage of the pay. And on the average, it's anywhere between 16 to maybe $25 an hour. And it is three to 8% of the approved claims that we went ahead and then got money for. And the best way that I can go ahead and explain this is if you do $100,000 and claims and get $100,000 back, you are going to get anywhere between $3,000 to $8,000 for that month. And the reason why we do a percentage of the claims instead of monthly claims is because we want to make sure that you get the most money for that doctor, that we want to make sure that you bill out the maximum that is allowed and of course legally allowed to go ahead and do it that you're not getting paid hourly so you're just throwing in the claims because you're getting paid hourly and you're just trying to get done with them um so that's one of the reasons the second reasons is because you work from home no one can monitor how many hours you're really working yes we could put you on like time doctor and have you clock in but the main purpose of us doing this is that you are able to work from home out of the comfort of your home and then be able to work the time that you need to and just because it takes you five hours to do something and someone else eight hours to do something does not mean that you should be penalized for that or get paid less for it. So it's really going ahead and then putting in those claims to go ahead and then have them in and then getting the money back as soon as, soon as possible. Once you are with us for a while, you can get up to two hospitals or facilities to go ahead and then work with. Um, and also, you can work this full-time or part-time, and it really depends, once again, on how long that it takes you. And 
So one person might get through it in three hours, another person might get through them in four hours. You're able to do it at any time. It doesn't matter if you are a graveyard shift person that you love a night owl and you love doing it at night or you're an early morning person because everybody in your house is sleeping or maybe you just wanna get the work done so then you can go out for the evening or the opposite way around. Whatever you wanted to do, as long as you get the work done. <clears throat> you do have a time frame that you have to get that work completed by. So if we give you the claims, you have to have the claims in within 48 hours. And we get the claims from the doctor's offices every day on most of them on a daily basis, every once in a while, it's weekly. So there's two options, and this is for the people that are trained and experienced. And then the other ones are for people that need training. So I'm gonna go ahead and then go into the experienced people first. Go ahead and then send us your resume. And what you want that to is resume at girlfridayinc.us. Once again, that's resume at G-I-R-L-F-R-I-D-A-Y-I-N-C dot U-S. Also, you're going to go ahead and then have that um, below in the comments or in the bio. Make sure that you have the experience and what niche that you have the experience in. Make sure that you have your most, oh, I spelled that wrong, sorry. The most recent experience, I just saw that typo, do apologize. And that you are ready to take a knowledge test within 48 hours. So we do give a knowledge test to make sure that you are proficient in it. The second is going ahead and then taking a training course. The training course is for anyone that needs to be trained that hasn't already been trained in medical billing and coding. So if you've never been trained in medical billing and coding, you're gonna need to take the course. Um, if you went to school but never worked as a medical biller or coder, um, or that you haven't worked in about two or three years, things change. It's like riding. It's not like riding a bicycle. Like you ride a bicycle, you always know how to ride a bicycle. It's kind of like math that if you don't use it, you actually lose that training. So that's why it's so important. Our training is self-paced. You can take it at any time that you want to and finish it as fast as you want to go ahead and then finish it. If it's considered to be a refresher course to you, then it's going to be that much quicker to go ahead and then get it completed. The software is provided for you to go ahead and then work, and this is for experienced and non-experienced people. And then we do take our top performers. So if you are a top performer, we're gonna bring you on to Girl Friday side and then have you working for us or offer you that position. It's up to you if you wanna go ahead and then take that or not take that particular position. That is strictly up to you. And then we have a bonus marketing course, and this is for if you want to be with us or even if you decide to choose your own path or maybe we didn't pick you. And this is to help you become an independent contractor. We're gonna teach you strategic marketing. We're gonna teach you strategic marketing and, um, and this is how to market yourself as a medical biller and coder for healthcare facilities. Uh, and that's a lot of things like schools don't teach that, like how to market yourself. And because we are a medical billing and coding company, we know how to go ahead and then market ourselves and then also market people individually. That's what we do. That's how we're able to hire people. That's how we're able to go ahead and then train people. So we're going to teach you on how to become an independent contractor, not to open up your full-blown business that you have um, other people working for you. We have another one for that and it's, it's way different. This is for you to be able to work for yourself to get a couple of contracts for yourself so then you can work on for, for yourself there, okay? So the cost, if you are experienced, is nothing. If you already have the experience, you have everything that you need, you're ready to go ahead and then jump on board, It's there's no cost to you at all. But if you have to do the training, the cost is $600 
without books and $800 with books. The reason why we have two different options for without books and with books is because some people can find them on discounts. They go on to Amazon or um, Craigslist or eBay, stuff like that, and find them used. So that's fine with us too if you can go ahead and then save money. But we recommend normally you get the books just so you have them ahead of time. And you will be given a list of the books that you need if you go ahead and decide to choose the path that you're going to go ahead and then pick your own books. We do have payments arrangements available and that's through Klarna that when you click the link, it's going to give you an option to make the full payment or to go ahead and then um, pay through Klarna and then Klarna breaks it into, I think, four payments. Do not quote me on this. I believe that they do that. If you choose the option without books and then later on decide that you need the books, it's just gonna be that $200 difference. You're not gonna be penalized for it at all. So the equipment that you're going to need, regardless if you are experienced or not experienced because you need it anyway for when um, you are finished training, is you need a computer, you need internet, and then you need a phone and the phone is for the team members, your supervisors and managers or me to go ahead and then give you a call to say, you know, let's come and hop in a meeting. Let's talk about these things. What do you need help with? Those kind of situations. Another question I get is I need to work or earn money while I'm doing the training. Like I can't do the training and not earn money completely understand this you know i'm a single mother so I, I understand it and even you know i have friends that are not single mothers that still need to bring in extra income so the best way to do this is through our customer service positions that we have those available those pay hourly for the customer service healthcare recruiters that if you want to become a healthcare recruiter while you're going ahead and then working answering service and then our business to business sales are four different ways that you can go ahead and then generate income while you are doing the training. And the reason why, one of the reasons why I love medical billing and coding is it's a lifelong career. When I was in high school, my best friend, her mother was a medical billing and coder. And this is like way back in the day when you had to go pick up stuff, you know, because I, I graduated in, in 92. But so it was a different way. Everything wasn't as electronic as it is now. You had to like download the software on there. It was, it was more complicated. But she had done it for five years before I met her. And then her whole entire life, she was a medical billing and coder specialist. And she was always able to do it from home. I couldn't understand how her mother was always home. My mother was, my mother also worked at a hospital, but she was at the hospital. But you know, I did a lot of stuff with her because her mother was at home. And this is a thing that she raised her children on and then continued to do over and over and over again. So this is a great career to go ahead in time to become a medical biller and coding specialist. If you have any questions, make sure to leave me a comment and uh, ask any questions. The email address and then the link will be included in there and then plus the email address to go ahead and then send me in your resumes. You guys have a great day. Bye.